KIT is a new concept that uh, comes from merging universities with large-scale research facilities. This is the first merger of this kind and now it has become increasingly popular around the world. It has the advantage uh, on both sides, so the university gets access to bigger facilities, more research money, and the big facilities get access to good students and are involved in teaching. We have about 24,000 students mainly in natural sciences and engineering. Pretty much every day has been a highlight. The dancing was a lot of fun. I really like the lecture that we just had on the superconductivity and the quantum phase transitions. Highlights? Hmm. I think the costume party. <laughs> so sometimes most people would think that visitors will be like this. But then we can also see the other side of other physicists. The conversation goes on and on. Who are you? What do you study? Oh, so you are an astrophysicist too. Uh, lab tours are really nice. Uh, it's, it's great to see um, such new equipment and uh, everything you work here. So it's nice. I think the guest talks are really great. I think the most exciting thing is talk to uh, people from other countries. This is my third ICPS. Every year I visit the ICPS, I get to know more of people from different countries. Maybe I'm becoming more socialized when I attend these conferences, which I think is one of the main purposes I attend here. I don't know, I just enjoy being around with all these physicists. I think here I can meet so many interesting people and talk about physics, how we feel about it, and share our passions for it. And also we can listen to a lot of lectures that's very interesting and give us a lot of inspiration. We spend really great time here, meet new people, meet new friends, so it's great. <laughs> I have a poster. I had a poster for myself. Many students uh, come to see it and to ask questions. Interesting to explain your things to people who ask questions about the posters and maybe I learn something when someone asks a question, oh, what is that, how does that work? I have to think how to explain it, so I learn all the time then. It's a lot of fun. Okay. It'd be fun to come back next year. The hydrogen research is still motivated by nuclear topics due to the change of the energy paradigm, the Energiewende in Germany. We look more and more in the application of hydrogen as an energy carrier. The idea is of course uh, that hydrogen will serve as a let's say, large scale energy storage. Well, the question actually continuing <laughs> on that would be um, do you want to have hydrogen in your trunk? Like, <laughs> Well, uh, if I know uh, who designed the car and uh, where I bought it from, I would drive it without any doubts. Do you want to see a yeah, whole... Show us, show us. Just prepared a little bit coke. And, of course, not missing beer. I think we ordered 3,600 bottles of beer. Just this kind of beer. For the other parties, we have other kinds of beers. This is a beer often... People drink this in Heidelberg. It's from a brewery somehow near around Heidelberg. Welcome to the nation's party. Actually, it's a quite good opportunity to get to know other cultures, other drinks, other dishes. And we also have an open stage outside. I hope you'll see a lot of dances or music from other countries. Elpe Magroner. It's a Swiss uh, national dish. The dish is a mix between pasta, potatoes, and uh, baked cheese and uh, onions. My favorite Swiss dish is chocolate, which I brought in plentiful amounts. And we also have fondue at the table, which is also very, very, very good. Welcome to the nation's party. I'm making a big old fashioned plate of mince and
along with we also have haggis and we have neeps and everything for a traditional Scottish or at least British meal. I'm making pims, which is some kind of like you have it in the summer and you play croquet and you have lots of fruit and even vegetables in the drink and it's mixed with lemonade and it's really refreshing. We are making a potato salad. Actually there is already a German version but we're making another one because they are different. Yes, we have a lot of stuff actually. We have a, a soup made of peas. It's a North German specialty. Some German bread with an assortment of um, sausage and cheese. And we have some grease brei, so it's a, a sort of pudding that's traditionally eaten in Germany. And frikadellen that are fried meatballs with onions in them. Homemade. It's a traditional thing. I don't know why, but mothers usually send us things like this. <laughs> Vegetables, um, tomatoes, um, pepper. Yeah. These are some of the stuff made out of milk. And these are the famous Sri Lankan cashews. And we are bringing out an assortment of Sri Lankan sweets from all around the island. I hope the people will be, it will be a different experience for the Europeans and the North Americans. We are countries that have uh, bigger supplies, but the best cashews, as in the best quality ones, are renowned in Sri Lanka. This is known as uh, halua. It's a kind of, uh, it's very sweet, very, very sweet. And uh, very famous in Sri Lanka. You can see this only in Sri Lanka. We celebrate Aurudu, that's the traditional Sri Lankan New Year. Uh, it's where, like, it's somewhat like Christmas, as in New Year, you do partying all around the country. Because so, in Sri Lanka, the New Year starts on the in the month of April. On the dawn of the New Year, we prepare those uh, sweets. So we are just cooking in a um, Spanish, a Spanish omelette um, and a typical, well, it's a very well-known dessert which is called uh, in Spanish arroz con leche, I think in English it's milk rice, maybe? No, it's I, not I, 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 love, I, I love cooking. We also oh, have some no, drinks. No problem. We also, we also have Pinto de Verano there, which is a uh, wine with, 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 with Fanta or whatever. Uh, li uh, lemon. With lemon and some kind of the species. Um, I think that's everything because we have no much time to do, so that's what we can do in so, so little time. Yes, but that's my team, yes,